Okay guys, sorry, that was a silly joke. Here's what you're gonna need to make this coffee candle. I filled up the glass with wax twice as high as I wanted the first layer to be. Whenever I use this method, I weigh the wax afterwards. I know my pot weighs 170 grams, so I measured out my fragrance oil accordingly. I used morning coffee, which surprisingly smelled more like biscuits than coffee. I might have been sent the wrong scent, but because I like this smell, I just rode with it. Let me know if you had similar experience with your coffee fragrance oil. I stuck the wick in the jar before melting the wax. Boom, melted. I added brown colouring as this was going to be the chocolate layer. I was convinced as they already looked like melting chocolate. Once the wax cooled down to about 57 Celsius, I mixed in the fragrance oil. One layer down, free to go. Same again but faster now. So I weighed out the wax, measured the fragrance oil, melted the wax, mixed in the fragrance oil, poured on top. Okay, let's slow down here and have a nice breather to watch this set. So I weighed out the wax, measured the fragrance oil, melted the wax, mixed in the brown colouring and because this was the coffee layer, I added a small amount of black liquid dye, mixed in the fragrance oil, poured on top. So I weighed out the wax, measured the fragrance oil, melted the wax, mixed in the fragrance oil, but this time, this time, I kept mixing the wax until I got the frothy milk effect I wanted. I spooned the wax on top and played with it to create a rippled look. I had some leftover brown wax, so I made a mess of my ice cube tray to have a block that I could create for the chocolate sprinkles on top. And voila! Anyone want to drink? Thanks for watching! And if you enjoyed this video, why not watch another one, or even better, subscribe so you never miss out.